Holy shit you guys, it has been a minute. I haven't been on YouTube or haven't posted a video for like four months, nearly five I think. Basically, I went through a really, really rough breakup. One that I've never had to experience in my life before. And that was about the last time that I posted a video. It was around that time when it happened. So basically, I lost my motivation. I lost every bit of energy that I ever thought I could put into YouTube. It all went out the window because I really had to just focus on myself. And for those past four or five months that I have been focusing on myself, all I can say is that honestly, it is the best thing that I've done because I have never been happier with myself. And that's a big deal for me. So I don't want to talk too much about it. Um, all the people that are close to me know what's up. But basically, I want to do a room tour video and basically like a what's in my wardrobe kind of video because it's personal. Um, you can see where I now live because my environment's completely changed. Um, I don't know, we can just like connect on a more of a personal level. I am sitting in just a top and my pajamas. So the first thing you will notice when you come into my room is probably my bed. I got this bed um, cover from Kmart, I'm pretty sure it was, uh, or Big W. It was like $20, so by me that's great. Then to my right, I have my bedside table. Um, I have my lamp, which is from Ikea. I have this little um, like hexagon candle tea light holder, which I literally never use. It's just there because I like the marble look on it. I also have this little arrangement here that you guys would have seen if you follow my channel a fair bit. Um, this like goes way back to a house that I was staying in like two houses ago, three houses ago. Um, I created this, made it, whatever, um, and I just kept it because I really like the little arrangement, so that sits to the side of my bed. And I also have a small collection of essential oils, um, they're something that I've been really kind of getting into lately. I do want to build my collection, um, I keep these ones to the side of me because they're the ones that I would probably use on a regular basis. Um, so all of them, there's like three or four different brands here, but yeah, they're all to do with um, depression, anxiety, um, calm moves to keep your head like tell it to shut up basically, keep your stomach from feeling so nervous and there's some like sleeping ones there too just to help me relax and wind down if I can't. On my bed, my teddy bear stitches, he has been with me since I was four years old. I got him in the Princess Margaret Hospital. My dad bought him for me and I've kept him ever since. He's probably the only thing I've ever kept since I was a child. Next, I just wanted to show you guys uh, things that I have laying around my room I suppose. Um, I have a journal here, which I picked up from Kmart. This was only $5 and I've always wanted a journal, so if I'm ever feeling like I need to write down some thoughts or, um, you know, write down information or even just like when I'm feeling creative, I've got a journal here. It's a pretty decent size, like it's A4 and, I don't know, I think it's really cute. I bought these um, Smiggle Neon scented gel pens, just like when I was a child. Um, attached to that, I have little, like, cropped pictures. I want to get the like twine with the pegs on them and be able to like hang them around. I'm just sure, not, not sure how to do that yet. I haven't found anywhere I can. Um, but basically these are just like little pictures that I just really think are fresh, that make me feel happy. This one's got every kind of coffee on it, like cappuccinos, lattes, flat whites, espressos, it's what you want. Um, this one says BU, which is super important. Then there's just like little pretty, pretty ones with like little quotes on them. So yeah, I just want to put them around my room because if they make me happy and they lighten my mood, then that's all I can really ask for. It's all I really want. So yeah, little things like that, like go a long way for someone like me. And also I have this book here. Um, it's called Astrology 2017. This is a massive book on um, like star signs and stuff. Like something that I've been really getting into lately. Um, learning about how different people are based on their star signs. Um, it's one of those things you either believe it or not. I don't know. I'm just doing my research. So I don't know. I think it's been really interesting so far. It's a pretty thick book. But yeah, it goes like right into depth on like every star sign. How the moon changes you. How like the sun changes you. Different things that you can expect. Just, I don't know, if you're into it, you'll fully understand where I'm kind of coming from, but if you don't, you're probably like, bitch, shut up. So, that I'm going to do. So, this is my chest of drawers. Um, these drawers are from Ikea. I'm sure you guys have probably seen them heaps if you watch a lot of, like, beauty YouTubers and stuff. Everyone's got them. I do have the glass um, layer over the top because I like the mirrored effect. 
Um, to the side over there, I have a fan right over in the corner. It is uh, summer now in Australia and it's so hot in this room. Like my window's right there and the sun comes right through and just literally cooks me while I'm sleeping. So I had to get a fan um, and I put that fan together and fans are really hard to put together and I never knew that until I had to do it. I don't ever want to do that shit again. Anyway, there we have um, a little plant from Kmart. Of course, it's typical Kmart homeware stuff. Um, I have this like little perfume. Um, it's from Dusk. I've got a cherry blossom smell inside of that. And basically the little flower like sucks it all up and makes it all pretty in my room. So it smells really nice. Um, and I have a little candle here that I just got from like a little store in Fremantle. It's a, um, it's just a candle, it doesn't even smell and I never want to burn it because it's cute as. Um, but I've seen these around everywhere now so I kind of don't feel it's cool having it even though it's like probably four years old for me. Then on this side I have um, like a little arrangement that I have put together. Um, standard Kmart bunny. I have a little Bambi that I got from Ikea which you guys would have seen that before in my setup in a previous video or two. Um, another little like plant thing from Kmart. I like face stuff because I cannot commit to looking up at anything so face stuff always lasts and it always looks green so by me that's a good time. Um, I have a dusk candle here and here I have a um, air freshener so every time I walk in it's a sensor one so it sprays makes my room pretty and I love anything that smells like always good so if my room can smell like the best place in this house then I'm totally happy with that. Behind it I have um, I have a clock that's so broken so I just hide the little crack in it anyway because it's still rose gold it still looks pretty and unless you really pick it up no one's going to see it anyway so doesn't matter by me. And all of that stuff here sits on a marble placemat that I got for $2 from Kmart. It's a round marble cardboard or wooden placemat. So this part here is basically just like a nook where I don't know what to put in it. Um, I really wanted to put like a big shelving. Um, I've got like an eight cube kind of shelving thing, shelving thing out there that I want to put little things and bits and bobs on. But I just thought it might look a bit too much here. So for now, I just got this little pink stand that I've used before in videos from Ikea. It was like $90 and I just found out you can get them for like $20 from Kmart, so ripped off. I have my two caps here. Um, this is my new cap that I'm, I love. Like, I love this hat. And I love the color and it's just, it's so cool. And then I got my black cap that I, I don't even wear that much anymore. Um, I have three perfumes here. These are three of my most used perfumes. And behind it, I have um, all these textures. I like to do colouring in like those whole adult stress relief um, colouring in books. I just found a colour by number for adults which for me is good because I don't know which colour to put where. So I bought like 10,000 textures. These are your like cheap ass ones that your parents buy for you because they can't afford connect pens, right? Five dollars. And up here, this is a Kmart print. Um, you probably would have seen this if you go to Kmart a lot. Um, it's pretty old now. I need to put it up somewhere, but I don't know where to put it. So for now, it just kind of sits there. It doesn't make sense, but it get, like gives the room a bit of color, so it doesn't really bother me. And here I have just a um, rose gold basket. This is my laundry basket that I use. All right, now moving on to my wardrobe. So starting at the back, I have, it's just like a massive overcoat. It's super soft. It's really, really warm inside. It's got really big, deep pockets and it's just a really nice length. It's probably my favorite overcoat that I do own. I then had this like Mexican looking jacket, poncho, rug thing. This is really, really cool in winter. Um, I love the colors on it and it goes super nice with like black boots, black jeans and a black top. I then have these two jackets here. So they are pretty much similar. This one I bought in this colour and black, but the black one I washed and it fully stretched and just dysfunctioned completely. So I bought this one from Tiger Mist and it's kind of the same, it's just a lot more thicker, a lot chunkier and a lot more shaggier. I can only wear this if I'm planning on like taking it off or like just not doing anything because it gets in the way with the tassels all the time. Like, it's like I'm wearing a big fluffy dog, but I do love it and I do love this one too if I'm wearing lighter colours, which is rare, so this one doesn't get as much wear out as the black one does, but I still like them. I then have a bomber collection, so bomber jackets. I have a plain black one here um, that I just wear if I'm 
being plain boring. Um, and I have this one here that I got and I love this one. I get so many compliments on it when I wear it. It's got random patches everywhere, like all American style. This one is showing the rude finger, which I think is rad because it's just like, hey bitch, I don't give a fuck. And there's nothing on the back, but yeah, it's just a standard normal bomber jacket with like heaps of different prints all over it. Then moving on to my grey selection. I tend to like, like keep a lot of grey jumpers and hoodies. I sleep in hoodies, I wear hoodies all the time, summer, winter, any different season I wear them. Um, so like this one's just a plain oversized jumper um, that I will wear to bed. Then I've got just my normal hoodie that I will wear with clothes, jeans or to bed. Um, I have this one here that is just another like sweater jumper. It's got something on the back, it's oversized, like none of these are meant to fit me obviously. I like being in huge clothes. And then I have this one here. I didn't mean to fall in love with this jumper so much. It is a crop and long sleeve. It's held like it's loose here and it has lover and written lover on the sides. I originally bought this because I wanted to put elastic here and tighten it so it's like a tight kind of crop because I hate crop jackets or jumpers. But this is like the sickest jumper that I have and I'm gonna leave it the way it is but I love wearing this especially like with my brown cap and black jeans and white sneakers. Then I go into my flannels or flannelette shirts, basically ones that are checkered. Um, if you guys follow me on social media, you will know that I like to wrap things around my waist and wear them as like an accessory or like an overshirt. So I use my flannels for that. Um, I have this massive big blue one that I'm not really a fan of the color of too much. But I do like wearing it with this shirt because it's like a grey wash and black jeans. Um, I then bought this one too, which I bought this last week and I do love this one a lot. I like that it's purple and grey wash because I don't really own one this colour. So I can wear this tucked into jeans as well or around my waist, which is what I've done recently. And then sometimes if I don't like feel like wearing a flannel and I like to just have a light colour around my waist, these ones have actually been really cool for that. I wrap these around my waist sometimes. Um, they look good with like black shorts or black jeans as well, or even with like a black dress wrapped around your waist. I like this really light color. It just, I don't know, it looks cool. Then going into my dresses, I have a Glamazon, I think, is it? Um, this one's from Live. It's just a cocktail dress. It's really um, kind of low at the front, which is not like me because I don't have the biggest boobs, so I don't really like to like push them out too much. Um, it's got a really low back on it and it's it's kind of, um, it fits to your body, it gives you a really nice shape. So I really do like this one. If I'm tan, it looks nice, but if I'm not tan, I just look like a ghost. So I don't really wear this one too much. Then I've got this one. Um, this is a white Glamazon dress as well. Um, so it is just completely white, long sleeve, uh, kind of like mid-neck collarbone, and it's completely backless. It's the same kind of uh, fitted kind of dress, so it makes you look nice. The only thing is this is an 8, and I need like a 6 or a 4, but I didn't have it. So I kind of had to resort to it because I really liked it and I really needed a dress for that night. Um, so it kind of looks a little bit baggy on me and that's kind of put me off a little bit. I've worn it twice, but it's one of those dresses that it's a statement dress. So you can't wear it too much or people are going to know that you have repeated your outfit. Then I have this dress here. Um, it is a cook eye dress and it is an off the shoulder kind of like lacy dress. Um, I don't know. I don't, I wore this to Melbourne Cup and I liked it, but I didn't love it. And that sucks for me because Melbourne Cup's usually a big deal. Um, I just feel like I might be a little bit too slim or skinny for it, if you know what I mean. I feel like if I had put on a little bit more weight um, and filled it out a little bit more, it might look nicer. I would like. I really wish I liked it. It's a two hundred dollars dress, so I wish that I liked it more than I do. But I just don't think it suits my body shape. ATM. Then I have this red play suit here. This is a gorgeous play suit. Red has never been my colour, but this is the only one that I will wear and love. It's just lacy at the back, it's lacy at the front, it comes up pretty high, which I really like. It's got a silver chain, I mean a silver zip, and it's kind of loose and flowy at the bottom. Um, and it's a play suit, so yeah, it's short. The only thing is, it's a little bit short for me now. So I kind of can't get away with wearing it as much, but I mean, I always try because if I can get away with it, I definitely will. Then moving on, I have a, another little summer dress here. Um, it's just a blue and white kind of striped, thick striped dress. 
Um, I got this from a little store in Perth and it was $10 and I really do like it. I can't wear it anymore because same thing, it, like, it's too short for me. I just, I don't know if it's just me because I've changed a little bit that I don't like wearing super short stuff anymore, but I don't know, it just seems a little bit too short, but I can't get rid of it because I love it. Then I have um, this shirt here. I wore uh, maybe a few weeks ago. It is a long sleeve lace kind of shirt. Um, the sleeves are all lace and the front here is all lace and it's open here so like it comes from here to about here all that bit's open now for me i normally don't wear things like that but i really like this shirt and when it's on it really looks quite classy so it is padded which is good if you have boobs and don't need like extra pad or if you need the extra padding it's there but for someone like me who's kind of like in between no boobs and boobs i can't get away with just wearing this but then if i wear a bra underneath it it's like it's almost too much so I don't know, I've really got to work this shirt out, but I really do love it, and it's, it's crop here, so I wear that with black jeans or like a black pencil skirt, and it just looks so nice and classy. Then I have this shirt here, um, I bought this one from the Universal store, um, it's crisscross here, it's my first crisscross cleavage shirt. So many people have them, like, it's the thing these days, I know it is. So this is my first one. I bought it in the tan colour because I don't own anything in this colour. With anything black, it looks super, really, like, super nice. Um, I also think this will look really nice with some, like, big white cloths. I own some really big, loose white pants, so I think that will look really nice with that too. Um, it is a one piece, so it does unbutton at the bottom, so you can go to the toilet. Um, and yeah, I don't know, I really like this one. I then have this shirt here, so this is a one piece. Um, you chuck it on from the back, it's all backless. Um, the front, so these two parts here, it's like so you put the pants on and then it has material here that comes up and material here that comes up. Now you can tie it however you want, like if you want to just tie it at the back and leave like all of this long then you can. If you want to tie it up at the back, bring it around the front, tie it, like there's so many ways to wear this. I've only worn it once but when I did wear it I got so many compliments so I should try and wear it again. I don't know, it's just one of those things again because it has nothing in the middle. It's just material and then kind of like nothing here. I don't like it. I'm too bony here, I feel, so I don't like to show that too much. Then I've got this one here. This is probably one of my favourite items that I own. Um, it's a one piece again, um, completely backless, and it's pretty much the same as the nude one um, in the sense of the two bits just coming up. So you can kind of see it just covers this part and then it has nothing in the middle. But the only difference is um, it covers a little bit more than the other one. So I like to wear that. It gives you really nice like side and back. It gives you a bit of side boob, but not too much. So it's, that's good. And I just dye over the color. Then going into my dressier kind of shirts, I suppose. This is just like a normal crop um, one that you will get a lot of cleavage out of if you want to wear it. Um, I do like this one because I like how nude it is, but it's a little bit pinky as well. So you can dress it up, dress it down. Um, but it's really basic from Ali, so from like 15 bucks. I then have this shirt here. Um, this is a off the shoulder, long sleeve, baggy kind of um, sleeves. It's got elastic here, so it sits about here and it's just a nice free flowing off the shoulder top. Then this one, so this one is a off the shoulder literal piece of material. Like, it, that's all it is, it's just one piece of material and then it's got the flowing lace off of it. So it sits there, nothing on the shoulders, nothing at all, it's like a boob tube with free flowing lace. Um, but I really do like the lace and I like how like wavy it is, how uneven it is. So that was a really nice um, maxi skirt or pencil skirt or even like the big white clots that I was saying, the big white pants. That would look really, really classy with, I think. I've just got to work out how to put it on without looking flat and like keep it up, you know what I mean? I feel like this shirt should have been padded instead of just being a material and that's it, but shit happens. Moving on to my skirts, I have um, this skirt here and it's a button up at the back and it's got a zip and it's, it's, it's a waist skirt, so it's a high waisted skirt and it sits like that and it's got like little bunnies and little pink and white checkered marks all over it. I think it's adorable. I just don't know where to wear it. It's not really me, but I feel like I could wear it at some point and like just love it. 
but until then, it's just kind of sitting here waiting for me to decide what to wear it with. I then have this um, skirt here. It is not leather, but it's meant to look like leather. Um, it's high-waisted, black. It's got two pockets. It's really, really nice. The only thing is it makes me look quite boxy. Like, it doesn't have a nice shape. It makes me look too baggy down the bottom and I don't like that so I really don't wear it and the only time that I have worn it was when I was working in retail and this thing literally will move on you when you don't even know like by the end of the day my whole skirt was to the side like my pockets were at the front here and the zip was on the side and I was like what the hell how so that's why I don't really like wearing this one either I don't know it's not really a winner for me but I like it enough to keep it so I don't know and then have two play suits that I have um, I have this one here, it's like a little pinafore, um, blue and white striped. It's really cute, but meh, it could be a little bit too girly for me. I'm really not sure how I feel about it yet. Maybe nice if you're wearing bikinis and just going to the beach, but that's probably as far as it's going to get with me. And this one is a fluoro um, backless play suit. It's got a little black lace there and black lace at the front. Now, I bought this probably four years ago and I've never worn it. I bought it in a size 8. It didn't cover my chest at all. So I bought it in a 10. Still didn't cover my chest. Now, I don't have big boobs. It's just that it doesn't have material wide enough to cover someone's boobs. So I can't wear this dress. I'm hoping now that I've kind of lost weight a little bit that maybe it might just magically fit me, but I've not tried it yet. And it gives me too much side boob, like too much to the point where like, this black bit is literally covering my nipple. I don't get it. Then I have oh, this. This is my Red Sox jersey. Now, I'm not a Red Sox fan. I don't know anything about Red Sox or anything to do with any American sport whatsoever. I just like this shirt and the jerseys. I want to get so many more of them. They're so expensive though. Um, I wear this as a dress with big high um, knee high boots and a choker and a cap. You can wear this with anything like jeans and sneakers wear it big and baggy wear it to bed i don't know i love it so much then last but not least i have um just some shirts that i hang up these are really basic t-shirts most of them are men's shirts actually i'm pretty sure they're all men's shirts and i just love basic guys t-shirts because you can tuck them into jeans and wear them with sneakers and a cap or you can just wear them to bed because they're comfy as um, I've got this one here that's just like, it's a weird colour, like a greyish kind of colour. I don't really wear this much anymore, but it does look really cool on. Um, it's from Cotton On. I do have this one too, which is also from Cotton On. I like this one a lot more, but I do like the shape of them. And I got this shirt as well. This is my favourite shirt. It's, an a, day, it's a, a day to remember shirt. This one was shot up to me when I was watching them live, so I treasure this like with all my life and I just love the colour of it and I like the bright orange on the back so I tuck this into jeans and I wear this all the time if not to bed as well. Well guys that is the end of my room tour and my wardrobe look into. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, I'm not going to promise you guys anything about my YouTube channel. All I know is that when I'm feeling creative or I feel like I'm in the mood and going to make videos I definitely have not stopped thinking about it for the past four months that I've not been on YouTube. I've had so many messages from people like everywhere. I even had someone from England message me being like, when are you making more videos? So that kind of thing also like stuck in my head and I was like, I just really got to get out of this rut and just do what I love doing and this is what I love doing. So hopefully I'm going to get back on track. Like I said, I'm not promising anything, but for now, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on all my social media. I am on Facebook now. So no more Facebook, but Snapchat and Instagram, go for it. I'll see you guys all in the near future, I hope. And I hope you have a lovely day.